Hi Aries, welcome to your Express Weekend Love Read. Express Weekend Love Read, Weekend Express Love Read. Let's go with that. Um, from the 15th to the 17th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for your support. I'm going to be starting uh, some merchandise stuff very soon. So stay tuned for that. Just in time for Christmas presents. I'm hoping you guys will get a kick out of it. Uh, but let's get started with your love messages for this weekend. Hopefully we've got some good messages for Aries, please. 15th to the 17th. Oh. Uh-oh. Got the devil card coming in. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, or it could just be a toxic situation that is kind of coming to an end, it looks like. Which is good. Okay, yeah, so you're closing out one cycle to begin another. And I feel like you've actually already got someone in mind. Um, but obviously this previous cycle is somehow affecting your ability to move forward. Let's get some more information. What is the devil card, please? What's the devil card? Yeah, this person that you've been dealing with is refusing to accept it's over, this devil energy. So they could be a toxic person. They may have a lot of addiction. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Scorpio, but um, definitely feeling like that it's like they won't let you go areas. You're trying to break free, but they're just not letting you go. And you've absolutely decided to move on. Um, anything else for the two in reverse, please? Okay. It does look like um, they are going to, well, they are definitely thinking about reaching out to you, whether they do or not, unsure. What's going to have more on the page, please, of sorts. Uh, but it could be that they reach out to you this weekend. They may see or know that you've got someone new. They might just feel it. Yeah, they're trying to, they're going to reach out and try and manipulate you, basically. You've got the... Uh, magician in reverse and that page of swords so they're going to try and use their words to i want to say like swindle you but it's more that they they know how to push your buttons aries and they are going to try that on this weekend what's this cup of love you've got here with the knight of cups i feel like this this feels like a really nice energy um could be a cancer scorpio pisces Yeah, so this past situation is actually blocking you from having the happiness you deserve with this Ten of Pentacles. So that could be because you're letting it affect you. It could be that this person knows and just doesn't want the drama of this other person. But it's like for as long as they're lingering in your life, um, you're not going to be able to take advantage of any new opportunities that are going on yeah like it's like this is being withheld they have the cup here you have the cup here as well but it's like i'm not really going to give you this pentacle because i don't know if it's really over and i don't really want all the drama with this past person let's see most likely outcome please most likely outcome for aries this weekend okay there's gonna be uh, i think this person is going to be waiting for you but if you make them wait for too long they're going to walk away basically so you've got the hierophant in reverse as well it could be that you're tired of waiting for this like i feel like they're withholding from you because there's this business going on in the past right this with your past person it could be someone that you've had kids with or something in the past um it's you're somehow entwined with them but Either you're tired of waiting or they're tired of waiting. And like I said, if you wait too long, you're going to miss out on this opportunity. Um, or if you keep them waiting too long, they're going to walk away. Anything else for the outcome for this weekend, please? You need to open yourself up to this person. <clears throat> yeah, it could be that you are... You might decide it's all too hard 
So that doesn't mean that it's not going to come back around again. It just means the timing might not be right for this weekend. So um, that's only for some of you. And you can always change the outcome. So don't just go, oh, that's it. It's over. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying there's a lot of, this is a lot of drama here. All I can feel is drama. Let's see what advice there is, please. What advice, please, for Aries? Oh, repeating energies. Oh, repeating energies. Okay, I feel like you're actually going to be really honest with this person and say, no, it's over. And if you're not, you, that's what you need to do. That's what spirit is telling you to do because for some reason, you just need to cut them out of your life, basically. Um, they're hanging around because they think that you'll never really leave. Like they can always just come in and manipulate you here. Um, yeah, you've got to, you've got to be clear that there is no more love being offered. Like it's done, it's over, cooked, finished, all over Red Rover, okay? Um, because for as long as you keep this open, these this is always gonna be on pause. And that's why I feel like this timing situation is not right. Um, you only have two hands, right? You can only hold so many opportunities. You have to drop one opportunity to pick up a new one. Let's do the Romance Angels for you, Aries. Romance Angels for Aries, please. Okay, separation. I was shuffling in reverse. So, yeah, again, there needs to be a separation from this situation over here, um, this manipulation, because it's actually stopping you from moving forward onto better and, and more amazing things. All right, Aries, that's what I've got for the weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Um, and I'll see you back here for the weekly reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.